Hi everybody, welcome to DIY Tuesday. We are so sorry for the delay. We had a couple of issues come up during prep time, so one trip to the ER later, we are back and ready to do this. So, we are going to be doing a delicious garlic parmesan potato recipe today. Now, I already made it, so I'm just gonna walk you guys through the steps a little bit, and then I'm just gonna pop this in the oven, and then we'll post a picture when they're done, because they look amazing. So. What we're going to do is, this recipe normally calls for three pounds of red potatoes. I took just five potatoes because you can do, you know, just to fit your audience, you can kind of tailor it to whatever you want to do. So I have five red potatoes in here. And what you're going to want to do is, I would recommend mixing, take, taking these in a separate bowl first. And what you're going to want to do is you will separate the, um, yeah, you're just going to put them all in a bowl. <laughs> And then, so once you have the potatoes in a bowl, then you are going to add your chopped parsley. So I put about a half cup of chopped parsley in there. You can do less, you can do more. Like I said, this recipe is really just there for you to tinker with and see what you like better. If you don't like a lot of garlic, feel free to add a little bit less. If you like more garlic, add more. Um, I feel like garlic adds a lot of flavor, so I did add a lot. Um, so what you're going to want to do is in a mixing bowl, you will add your red potatoes, you'll add your um, garlic and Parmesan. So I added about a half a cup of garlic. It might have been a third of a cup of garlic, but you can add more or less, like I said. And then I added um, half a cup of Parmesan, maybe about three quarters of a cup of Parmesan because it gives that those potatoes a really nice cheesy glaze and they taste really good. Um, also, when you cut these, you can dice them, you can cut them however you want the potatoes. It doesn't really matter. They're going to end up tasting great in the end. Um, and then what you're going to want to do after you have all of those mixed, you're going to want to add a little bit of oil. It doesn't matter if it's olive oil. It could be olive oil, coconut oil, whatever works for you. You're also going to want to pre-oil your pan that you put them in. So you're going to want to put whatever oil in the pan first, just so that those potatoes don't stick to the bottom. You could even use a nonstick cooking spray, whatever works for you. So um, after you've done that, you're just, it's really easy. You pop these and just spread them out all over the pan. Then once you have them spread out, I recommend having them, you know, laying flat because what you're going to do is you are going to take a half ounce bottle. Now you have two options in this because you're going to want to use thyme, oregano, and basil. So what I did here is I took one drop of each and I put it in a spray bottle with two drops of black pepper because this recipe also calls for pepper, but I thought it would be cool to add the essential oil instead of actually, instead of actually putting black pepper in here. So you're going to want to put that all in a bottle and then you fill the rest of the way with water. And then what you're going to want to do is just spray this. So you're going to shake it and you're going to spray this all over your potatoes and I recommend doing it about two to three times just depending on what you're feeling. Um, you can always, you know, spray some on your finger and taste test it just to see if that's, you know, if you want a little bit less, a little bit more flavoring. And then of course, don't forget you guys to add a little bit more olive oil over the top if you need to. And that's just going to help you, um, potatoes cook a little bit better. Um, also, if you want to, while you're mixing these in the bowl, you can add one drop of each of those oils into the bowl itself and then mix it. I just feel like putting it in a spray bottle and then spraying it on the potatoes gives it a little bit more of an even coverage and you're going to really get all of those potatoes in there. So once you're done with this, really all you do is pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. And then once you're done with that, Pull it out of the oven, you're going to want to get it into another bowl and mix it with about two tablespoons of butter and then you're done. You can add a little bit of salt to taste and maybe some pepper if you haven't added that black pepper oil in there, but that's really all it is. It's a super simple recipe for any holiday occasion and that is it, you guys. Um, this is what they look like when they're done and I don't know if you can see that very well, but they do look really good. They're, it's just a really good savory food for the holidays. Now, just to let you all know, we this will be our last DIY Tuesday until January 3rd. We are going to be postponing Jan, uh, DIY Tuesday and Feature Friday throughout the holiday season. 
So we hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a wonderful Happy New Year. And we will see you guys on January 3rd. Have a good one.